Everyone, this is Devin Johnson, and this is his story. Uh, I was asked, uh, I asked Jesus to be my personal savior about a year ago. I wanted to be baptized because I want to go public with my faith. Jesus is my savior. Jesus has guided me through my life and helped me in ways I couldn't even imagine. Jesus has guided me every step of the way with blessings, even when I may not have deserved it. I am forever grateful. I am also ready to start this new journey following Jesus with this great milestone. Devin, as just pastor talked to you about, this is an act of obedience. But with your profession of faith that, faith that Jesus is Lord, you're going to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in baptism. Raised to walk in newness of life. Yeah. It's all right. Jesus saved you. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> All the, this is Luann Grimaldo. 21 years ago, I accepted Jesus into my heart. I always try to keep on the path he wants me on. For years, I did not want to get baptized. I could never get the courage to do it. So when I heard that Pastor Todd was leaving us, I told myself, Luann, you can do this. So I prayed, and then I contacted Pastor Todd. Can you baptize me before you leave? And of course, he said, yes. Let's do it. My favorite Bible verse is, well, I have many, um, I have many, but will only share one of them. Isaiah 41.10. Luann, please understand, this is a blessing to everyone here. And you are a blessing to so many people. With your profession of faith, pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. All right, Luann. Come on, Stella. All this is Stella Steinling making her way into the water. And this is her story. My mom and sister Shelby were the first people to tell me about Jesus. Throughout the past two years, I've spent a lot of time with my sister at Liberty University and going to the campus community Bible studies. One day, we were at home after just having been at one of the studies, and we were talking about Jesus and my relationship with him. I prayed and accepted Jesus as my Savior. I know that through him, I have eternal life and a place in heaven. My favorite thing about Jesus is that he died on the cross for our sins. He was always forgiving. No matter what you do, he is always there for me. My favorite Bible story is about Noah and him building the ark for the animals. It is my favorite because I love animals and I feel like it's our job to take care of them. I want to be baptized to tell everyone that I prayed and accepted Jesus as my Savior. Stella with that pastor is going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Man. Oh, this is Stephen Neese. Stephen accepted Jesus in 2016, and it was by the prompting, the prayers, the conversations, the love from his wife, Wendy. And uh, Steve says they, they've been here for about four years. But in essence, and I just spoke to him, when did you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior? He said 2016. You know that Jesus lived. He died. He was buried. And that he rose again. And because of that, we have eternal life. And with that profession of faith, your wife and your pastor are going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, Maureen. This is Stephen's wife, Wendy. Wendy accepted Jesus in 2006, and as I just said, that she was very integral in getting her husband 
to come to faith and to bring him to the mount. And you believe that Jesus lived, that he died, that he buried, and that he rose again. And with that profession of faith, Pastor and your husband are going to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There it is. There it is. All right. The water is still warm. The water is still warm. Anyone? 